Okay, so here we are with the pieces that come in the Creative Softbox kit. Um, we've got the uh, we've got the main attachment to the flash here, and we've put the little rods in, just ready to put on. Um, uh, one key feature about this is that obviously because the because the flash is is obviously different which way it's orientated you can fit this either that way or we can take these two panels off stick them in out this way and allow the soft box to work a different way round um, now for this for this purpose we're going to have it this way round um, and I'm just going to quickly go through how to put this soft box together um, one of the key features about this particular soft box is, is we have these uh, these special, special uh, I don't know what you call them, just a, uh, I suppose it's like string, that allows us to compress these bars up um, while we assemble the soft box. Now that that's, makes it really, really easy to put this soft box together. Soft boxes are notoriously difficult to put together, um, but this really helps out when, you, when you're building this thing. Um, so what we're gonna do is literally just hook, work out which the longest uh, we've got. It goes a certain way around, that's the longest one there. And we simply hook that on there. And as you can see, it's already forming the shape of the soft box. Now I'm just gonna hook these ones on as well. Oops. And then I'm gonna do the opposite sides. Obviously, I'm just trying to untangle it as I'm going along. Oops, let's just untangle that bit that way. It's great. I'm going to do the opposite sides. Okay. So you can see already that it's really, it's really helpful having this on. It's so fiddly trying to get the soft box to the right shape, especially with a hexagonal soft box like this. Okay, last one. There we go. So you can see that that's already forming the shape of the soft box. Um, right, before we go any further, we've got the three diffuser panels here, or the deflector panels as they're called. Um, I'm going to screw this in now just simply because it's going to make it easier than trying to fiddle around when, when the, the main bit of the soft box is on it. Okay, so now I'm going to try and attach this unit to the main soft box. So we're going to put this through here. Okay, just fit that through there. And then these little tabs here, just push onto these bits. I need to get this in properly. Better. Okay, they just flip over like that. You obviously have to have to use a little bit of force to to pull these in, as with as with any soft box. But um, having this centre section makes it so much easier to get those in than it would do if you were trying to work with a normal soft box. Now, now that section is now on. One, what, you'll, what you'll notice is that once you release these, the tension on these bars actually pulls the soft box taut, which is, which is ideal. So let's take those off. There we go, put that to one side. And that's our soft box assembled, uh, apart from the front diffuser panel, obviously, uh, which we can put on there. So again, This is the recessed uh, front panel to allow us to allow us to fit extra things on the front, like our um, our strip panels or our mesh. Okay, yeah, it's going on. Once you've got a couple of the sides on, it's it's very easy to it's very easy to put the other sides on. And there we go. That's our soft box.
already made. You can see that it's got that hexagonal shape, but it's elongated. And when the strip panels are on, it makes it more like a strip softbox. Um, the back of it is just exactly the same. It's really, it's a really simple Velcro fitting. Uh, and I'll attach this to the flash now so you can see how that attaches. So literally, let me just grab the rubber band. Okay, so that's our softbox assembled. Um, the one good thing about this particular design is that because we're using this string to hold the, the bars in, um, it lasts a lot longer than some of the soft boxes that you, that you have on the market because every time you take it apart and put it together again, you're having to bend and put pressure on those bars to bend them inwards. Uh, by using this system, it's a lot easier to do it and it's going to make the, it's going to make the bars last longer. It's not going to damage the soft box by taking it apart and putting it back together again. Um, okay, so now we've got the soft box assembled. Let's take a quick look at some of the key features that make this different to the other ones on the market at the moment. Um, the first thing that you can see is that the soft box fits on with this little uh, Velcro fitting. Um, it fits onto the light itself and it doesn't surround the flash. Um, now obviously this is good because it doesn't impair any of the infrared systems that Canon and Nikon use to trigger the flash if you're trying to trigger the flash remotely. Um, in this instance we're using the wireless trigger on the bottom so we're not using the infrared but if you were using the infrared the fact that you've got a, a space around the flash for the infrared to be able to pick up its signal is vital really. Um, if we turn the uh, if we turn it round, you can see the shape of this, which is different as well. Um, it's like a hexagonal but an elongated shape. Um, this also comes with um, a couple of different attachments with it. It comes with a strip attachment, which is going to block off these areas and create more of a strip light if you need that. And it also comes with a mesh that fits onto this recessed panel here to the Velcro to sort of be able to control the light even more. Um, one of the key features about, about this softbox as well, if I take this section down, is the internal, the internal deflector panel, which is going to basically allow the light to spread out over the whole softbox and create a really even lighting at the front. Um, it's got like a really shiny interior, obviously the, the silver interior, which is going to be good. Um, and this internal panel can be swapped for the different colour ones as well. We've got a silver one that we can put in and we've also got a gold one that can go in as well if you want to colour the light slightly. Um, the other interesting thing about this, this softbox is, is that it's very, very light. Uh, it's, a, it's about 82 grams, which is extremely light. And obviously if you are using it on the top of your camera, um, if it's the other way around, uh, you're obviously going to want something that's as light as possible so that you don't sort of, it doesn't add any extra weight to your, to your flash or your kit. So let's close this up and um, let's get our model in and try a few shots with it and see how we go.